Good evening, guys. So, belated video today, probably fortuitously in one respect, and then, you know, incredibly sad and disappointing in another. So, this is a listing or video for my for one of my Dolmar 133s, and I've had a couple of mishaps with my 133s. <laughs> <laughs> so this particular Dolmar had only been on show, I've never cut with this saw and it's just been one of my showpieces. Cosmetically she's in spectacular condition, um, virtually no damage anywhere around the chassis, the labels are intact and no breaks on the covers, uh, has a spectacular chain break like new both felling spikes are present inner and outer guide plates present etc etc so just amazing and i had another collector wanting to hear it run for a, an elongated period of time i wasn't going to cut with it because i just didn't want to to, to get this one filthy dirty because it's just been hanging perfectly um and a rumble is started in the engine so that started today and so I sent the video to them. We're all in agreement that we think that the, the main bearings have gone on the engine. So I'm going to <coughs> put the listing and remod the listing on eBay. So this is going to go up now for really for scrap. So it's for spare parts only. It's desperately disappointing, but um, I'm not going to be stripping the engine apart. And um, but hopefully. A wealth of spares for one of you out there. So I'll take the covers off in a second and do a walk around with the camera and let me show you how it runs. Great compression. Kill switch. Okay. He says. <laughs> Drink off. so I don't know how clear that comes out on the camera but she definitely has a low down rumble and it's undoubtedly main bearings I don't think it's big but there you go so the engine now has a rumble sound and it's definitely nowhere near as smooth as it has been so I will pause the video quickly take off the covers because she's a, a gorgeous cosmetic saw and hopefully still suitable for one of you guys out there Pause a second guys, we'll be back in a minute. Hi guys, I'm back. So let me show you some of the components then. So, gorgeous, well my, I love the Dolmar brand, as a lot of you know, the West German saw. Uh, made from 1979, 85 cc's. So here's the mag alloy top cover. No brakes whatsoever. Perfect air filter. The air filter cover perfect. Side cover with the felling spike and the badge with a tiny bit of damage in the corners. Um, internal guide plate present. If I'm super critical, it's a tiny chip off this back, back trailing edge. New hardened steel side cover nuts pull start housing no brakes new pull cord correct handle 
no brakes at all, just in beautiful condition. Uh, 316 stainless steel bolts. And then the Domar, I believe it's a Domar guide bar, 16 inch chain, excellent condition. Feels sharp, haven't cut with it, haven't cut with this all. Um, so here we are then. So handle at the back, no brakes. Um, the correct petrol and oil filler caps. All the screws around the chassis. The AV mounts, it had two or three new AV mounts or replacement AV mounts oh, a few months back, but they just felt loose when I'd started it. But uh, um, all 316 stainless steel screws, inside felling spike again, new stainless steel bolts all round. Both the starter pulls are in place, no fin damage on the flywheel, no fin damage on the engine, exhaust is in great condition if I'm super critical which I will be for the video it's a dent in the front and a tiniest split but um, you also see this little uh, looks like a what does that look like just like a, a little arc with a plus and a minus and through here might just be to make out there's a screw in the back here for adjustable oil it's obviously adjustable oil flow which is working and then round to the clutch side um, no brakes on the chain brake handle. It's all in just gorgeous condition. Chain catcher present. Um, in a guide plate. Literally no damage whatsoever. Clutch bell. Chain brake obviously working. Handles good condition. Again, all the AV mounts and the handle bolts, all with new stainless steel screws. Or, and the rear handle is also, they're all stainless steel as well. And then on top, so the foam mount for the top shroud cover is, is present. Okay, well, there she is. So they're an amazing engine. They make um, around six horsepower, four and a half kilowatts. And I've taken a picture of the piston, but like I say, it's... Uh, it's desperately disappointing to have the this rumble coming from the coming from the engine. So I'll pause, put it back together, show her on a restart, and hopefully suitable for anybody there either as a restoration project or maybe you can um, utilize lots of the parts as they're in such great condition. Back in a moment, guys. Hi guys, I'm back. She's reassembled then. So. To recap, gorgeous cosmetic condition. Um, uh, it's been wow! I, just, I can virtually hardly believe that this one has an engine problem as well. Um, so chain brake, perfect. Um, all the covers in great condition. The tiniest break on the back here. Um, so two versions of the one three threes. So they are the, the 133 and the 133 Super. And in my opinion, the 133 is the better saw. Strangely, the 133 Super was a revamp of this one several years later and exactly the same displacement. So they're all 85 cc's, all making the same power, um, except they changed one of the output bearings, I think went from a roller to a, from a ball bearing to a roller bearing and the petrol tank went to plastic instead of mag alloy like on the 133 and personally i prefer the mag alloy tanks so um a couple of the other changes they made they just it's i, I think they were i think the, the standard 133 is a better sort um okay i'll show her restarting Okay, guys.
guys. Thanks for watching. That's my Dolmar 133 West German saw going up on eBay for parts only. Um, and like I say, bear in mind the engine is now noisy. Uh, incredibly disappointing to say the engine is now noisy. I was just looking at the writing on the bar. There we go, just the last overview. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Any questions, please just ask. Anyone want to take a look? Yeah, um, well, it might be difficult the way the, uh, the world currently is. It's a crazy place. So stay safe out there. Any questions, please just ask. Bye for now.